child. What should we name her? That's up for you to decide, sweetheart. You can give her whatever name you want to. Jason, you're her dad too. I want you to be part of her naming as well. There's so many names to choose from, though. We made such a huge list. Well, I already thought of a name. I want to name her Eve. I think it's a beautiful name. It was really hard to choose from the huge list that we had, but if you ask me, this name really sticks out. I find it uh, perfect. That's a nice name. I like it. Let's just go with Eve, then. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I thought you had a favorite name of your own. There's too many names to look through, and I like all of them. So, it's all right. I'll let you choose. You're her mom, after all, right? That's how we did it for all the other kids, too. You decide the name if it's a girl, and I decide the name if it's a boy. We already know that it's going to be a girl, so it's your call. You can name her whatever you want to. I like Eve, so let's name her that. All right, then. Eve it is. We're going to have another rainbow hair in the family. Yes, we are. Our rainbow hair is what makes us unique, after all. It's also the reason for Eric's success in his modeling career. Tomorrow will be his birthday. <laughs> I'm really excited. <laughs> so am I. rainbow hair. Everyone in this family has rainbow hair, but Eve's hair is dark brown or whatever. So what, Eric? It really doesn't matter. I don't care what the color of her hair is. She's still my daughter and I love her. But mom, this hair is a part of our family. It's what makes us unique. So what do you want me to do, Karen? The color of her hair was never in my control. There's nothing I can do about it. And there's nothing she can do about it either. This is silly. Be nice and that's that. Deal with it. Ugh, Mom, you just don't get it. Her hair. It just, it looks so bad. Ryan, mind your language. That's your little sister you're talking to. Ugh, whatever. so mean to Eve. She's their little sister. It's fine. They just need some time to get used to it. They've always looked down on people that don't have the same hair as them. We didn't raise them properly, Phoenix. They have a lot of arrogance in their hearts. Don't worry, Jason. There's still time. They're still in high school. They're still growing up. And I can promise that they will change and learn from their mistakes. I sure hope so, but I won't let them look down on Eve. She's their sister. It doesn't matter if her hair is different. We'll make sure that doesn't happen, all right? Don't worry. using my laptop. I have a lot of homework to do, but I'm just not in the mood right now. I want to do something fun. Okay, I've been working and studying all day. I deserve a break. I wonder what the others are doing. Yes, I'll go and see if I can play Roblox with them. Hey, Eric. Oh, you are all here. Are you all playing? Oh, hi, Eve. I didn't see you there. Yeah, we've been playing Roblox for a while now. I thought you 
were studying. Don't you have a lot of homework to do or something? Yeah, true. I do have a lot of homework to do. But I'm taking a break right now, and I wanted to do something fun. Can I play with you guys? Pretty please? Sorry, but the game we're playing right now can only be played with three people. Adding a fourth person will just confuse everyone, and the game won't work. Oh, well, I have another game in mind. It doesn't have a limit on the number of people that can play it. If you guys don't mind, we can play that game instead. I think it will be a- Eve, you can't play. Don't make me say it again. You're going to ruin all the fun and mess everything up. Just go do your homework. Don't annoy us. All right, fine. I'm sorry if I annoyed you. Yeah, you really did. Don't do it again. I'm sorry. I'll just go back to my room. Why is everyone always so rude to me? I never did anything wrong, right? I was always so nice to them. I never made fun of them, and I always do whatever they tell me to. But they never show me any love. Why? They don't even want to talk to me at all. I just want to know why. I've been wanting to bring it up with them, but I just can't. It's scary, and I don't know what they're going to say. right now. It was really dirty the last time I went in, so I think you should sleep with your sister or brothers. Oh, thank you. But who do I go to sleep with? You can sleep in Eric's room. Excuse me, what? I'm not sharing my room with her. I'm sorry, but I need my own private space. Tell her to go sleep somewhere else, Mom. Eric, what's wrong with you? She's your little sister! You can't talk to her like that! She doesn't have a bed to sleep on! Then tell her to sleep in another room, Mom! She can sleep in Ryan's room or Karen's! Excuse me? What? What did I just hear? I heard my name, so I know it was something about me. Eve's room is being cleaned, so she doesn't have a bed to, s to sleep on tonight. Mom was asking if she could sleep in your room tonight, or Karen's. What? Absolutely not! I'm going to have a movie night anyway, so I'm going to sleep pretty late. Besides, I don't want anyone else in my room. I prefer to have my own space. Don't expect me to share my room with you, Eve. Ugh, it's fine if you sleep on the couch for one night. It's actually not that bad. That couch is pretty comfortable. I could sleep on it myself. Sleeping on a bed is still better, of course, but our couch is the next best thing. That's enough. You can't be serious. What kind of brothers and sisters are you? Eve is sleeping in one of your rooms tonight, and there's nothing you can do about it. If you talk back to me again, you're grounded. Understood? But, Mom, my room is mine. I don't care! She needs a bed to sleep on! Karen, it's gonna be your room, and that's my final decision. What? Why me? Mom, please choose Eric or Ryan! I told you not to talk back, didn't I? You're grounded for the rest of the week! I warned you! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, I was just trying to... Quiet! I don't want to hear another word from your mouth. I'm going to get dinner ready for all of you. This conversation is over. Karen is sharing her room with Eve tonight, and that's final. What is your problem, Eve? Why can't you just leave us alone? What did I ever do to you guys? Why do you hate me so much? Isn't it obvious? Have you looked at yourself in the mirror? Have you seen how your hair looks, Eve? Everyone in this family has rainbow hair. Everything was going so well until your brown hair. Every time we take a family picture together, your hair just ruins the beauty of the picture. I don't even want you to stand next to me at all. Go change your brown hair. So that's it? You hate me because, because my hair color isn't a rainbow like yours? Of course. What else? Your brown hair doesn't belong here, Eve. You should have realized that by now. Ugh, whatever. It's pointless arguing with you. Does 
because my hair isn't rainbow, I don't fit into this family? That's it? That's what this is all about? I can't believe this! I thought I did something wrong! I was ready to apologize, but this, this is just stupid! I have to tell Dad about this! <laughs> Hi, Eve. I didn't expect you to call. What's the matter? Is everything okay? Dad, I need you to come home right now. Eve, are you crying? What happened? I'll explain everything when you get here. Please just get here as soon as possible. Well, I'm supposed to be at work this whole week, but don't worry. I'll come tonight. I'll be there. Thank you, Dad. Eve, I'm really sorry about what happened. They shouldn't have spoken to you like that. They're all grounded for the rest of the month. Grounding them isn't going to change anything, Mom. It's just going to make them hate me even more than before. I just want them to love me and care about me. But they never will because I don't have rainbow hair. There's nothing that can change that. No matter how many times you ground them or for how long you ground them, it's not going to fix anything. They'll always hate me. Eve, why are you thinking that? Who told you about this? Was it them? Did they tell you about this? It doesn't matter, Mom. Nothing can change the truth. I don't fit in with this family. I'm the odd one out. Eve, never say that again! You are a part of this family! Forever! You're my daughter! I don't care what anyone else says or thinks! I don't care what the color of your hair is! You are my daughter, and you will stay in this family no matter what! Do you really mean that, Mom? Yes, Eve, of course I do. You're my daughter, and I love you. Ugh, I don't even feel like eating dinner. I'm in such a bad mood because of Eve. I can't believe Mom keeps supporting her. Why doesn't she see? Can't she see that Eve's not like us? Eve is different from us. She has brown hair. Ugh, everything is so annoying now. I hate brown hair. She's being biased. It's really clear. Eve pretends to be an innocent little girl who doesn't know what's going on. So Mom can't help but be on her side. Like, I hope she sees Eve's true colors. I don't think she ever will because Eve's her favorite. Look who it is! Speak of the devil! I can't believe I'm even sitting on the same table as her! Ugh. If you want my advice, Eve, just leave the house. You don't have rainbow hair, so please leave. Mom told me to ignore them in anything they say, so I'll ignore them. Now, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep ignoring them until they get fed up of annoying me. Hey, I'm talking to you! Can't you hear me? Are you doing this on purpose or what? Ugh, she's just trying to annoy you on purpose, and you're falling for it. Stop being an idiot. Just ignore her. I can't just ignore her. Look at all the trouble she's caused today. She can't just get away with all that. All right, kids, I'm ready to make dinner now. Tell me what you want to eat, and I'll make it for you. Eve, what do you want to eat? Um, I'll eat... I'll eat whatever everyone else is eating. Eve, come on, don't be shy. You have to make your own decisions too. You like chicken pasta a lot, don't you? Do you want me to make chicken pasta for you? I would love that. Absolutely not! I hate chicken pasta! I'm not going to eat chicken pasta, never! I'd rather eat food from the trash can than eat chicken pasta. You ate chicken pasta yesterday, Ryan, and you said you really liked it. Wh what I, I don't remember that. You're probably just remembering wrong, Mom. I hate chicken pasta. Yes. I don't like chicken pasta. I don't care what happens. I'm not eating that. Me neither. <sighs> oh well, it's three against one. Looks like Eve isn't getting her chicken pasta tonight. You kids are never gonna learn, are you? You're only saying all this so that Eve doesn't get her favorite food. She's your younger sister. Instead of trying to make her happy, you're purposely trying to annoy her and make her cry. You should be ashamed of yourselves. All right then, it's settled. I'm making chicken pasta for everyone. 
What? But mom, none of us like chicken pasta. I don't want to eat it. If you don't want to eat it, then don't. No one is forcing you to eat it. Just grab some fruit from the fridge and eat that. Seriously? Mom, you're joking, right? Does it look like I'm joking? If you don't fix yourselves and don't treat Eve the right way, this is exactly what's going to happen. I've had enough! Eve, get out of the house right now! What? What are you talking about? I mean exactly what I said. Get out of the house, or I'm kicking you out myself. You know what? I'm with you on this, Ryan. The only way to fix all the problems in this house is to kick her out. Mom's busy cooking in the kitchen, so now is the perfect chance. Let's just get her, kick her out of the house, and then lock the door. Um, guys, you're joking, right? I don't think we should. Shut up, Eric. If you're not with us, then just stay there and do nothing. Don't interfere or lecture us about what's right and what's wrong. Karen, let's do it. No! No! Ah! Wait, what happened? Is everything all right? I heard you screaming. What's going on? Mom, they were gonna kick me out of the house when you weren't looking. What? Kids, is that true? What? M Mom, she's lying. I would, I would never do that. She's lying to you to get us all in trouble. I can't believe you would stoop that low just to get us in trouble, Eve. Your lies aren't going to work. Mom won't believe you. Mom, I'm telling you the truth. They were about to kick me out of the house. If you didn't come just now, they would have done it. Don't worry, Eve. I believe you. You don't have to try to convince me. Seriously? Mom, would you actually believe her? You can't be serious. Quiet! I never thought you would do something like this! Is everything all right? What's going on? Why are you all fighting? Hey, what is going on? Why are you all fighting with each other? Eve, tell me what happened. Come on, why are you crying? They don't like me, Dad. No one likes me. They all hate me. They were about to kick me out of the house. If Mom hadn't come in in time, they would have kicked me out while Mom wasn't looking. They're all mean, Dad. They don't want me. Of course we don't. We all hate your brown hair. Jason, it's a really long story. A really long story? What is that supposed to mean, Phoenix? You're their mother for crying out loud. You should look after them. How could you let everyone get away with this? We're not getting away. She's the one that keeps annoying us over and over again. Eve, tell me everything that happened. How did this fight start in the first place? Why were they screaming at you? Mom was just asking all of us what we wanted for dinner. I said I wanted to have chicken pasta, but everyone said they didn't want pasta. Mom decided to make chicken pasta because she usually makes whatever the majority says, and it's been so long since I had pasta. And then they all got really angry at me, and they started being mean to me because they would have to eat pasta because of me. And then I got angry at them too because they kept on telling me things and they weren't stopping. Seriously? That's it? You all had such a big argument over what to eat for dinner? I can't believe this. You were about to kick Eve out of the house because she wanted to eat chicken pasta? Are you guys serious? Do you not understand how stupid that sounds? It's not just that, Dad. We decided that enough is enough. Ugh, she's always been so annoying. Exactly. It's about time someone taught her a lesson. Karen, Ryan, and Eric, Get out of this house, right now. Wait, what? Dad, what are you saying? You heard me, Ryan. I want all three of you to get out of this house right now, this instant. <gasps> Jason, what are you saying? I think we should all
Well, sit and cool down for a second. You shouldn't make such big decisions when you're angry. You're gonna regret- I'm not going to regret anything. I've had enough of these three creating problems. They've been doing it for as long as I can remember. They've never treated Eve like a little sister. They barely even talk to her and they're always bothering her every chance they get. They think they're better than everyone else just because of that rainbow hair. They're spoiled. Unbelievable! I'm so disappointed at them, and I don't want them around Eve anymore. Eve hasn't done anything wrong. I don't care if she has rainbow hair or not. She is beautiful, and I love her. Dad, we're sorry! We won't be rude to her again, I promise! I'll be nicer! I'm sorry for everything I said to you, Eve. I'm sorry for being so rude to you. I'm sorry for trying to kick you out of the house. I promise I won't do it again. See, Dad, I apologize. I'm really sorry. I can apologize again if you want, but please don't kick us out of the house. It's too late for that now, Karen. You should have done that earlier. You should have treated Eve better. No more chances. Now. Get out of this house before I lose my temper. Dad, I swear we won't do it again. Please don't kick us out of the house. We'll be really nice to Eve from now on. We'll never shout at her or be angry at her ever again. I'll apologize to her as many times as you want me to. Jason, there are children too. They'll have nowhere to go if you kick them out of the house. There's no better way to teach them a lesson. They're never going to learn until they face serious consequences for all their actions and making Eve cry. I think this is enough for them, Jason. They know that if they make her cry, they'll get kicked out of the house. A warning is enough. Where are they gonna go if you kick them out? Just take a few minutes to calm down, please. I agree with mom, dad. Don't kick them out, please. They're part of this family. I don't want the family to be ruined because of me. Eve, this isn't your fault. It's not because of you. Please, don't think of it like that. Just give them another chance, Jason. If they do it again, then you have every right to do whatever you want to do, but just give them one more chance. Okay, fine, I won't kick them out. But remember, this is my final warning. If I ever see Eve crying because of you three, I won't let you stay in this house anymore. I want you to treat Eve like your little sister and protect her from every danger. I'll be watching over you all. If I see you being rude to her even once, you're going to regret it. Is that understood, kids? Yes, Dad, understood. Thank you so much, Dad. I get it. I won't be rude to her ever again. Dad, I'll be super nice to her from now on. I can't believe you idiots caused such a big ruckus just because she wanted chicken pasta. <sighs> you kids are beyond help. I'm out of here. You heard your dad, didn't you? And I'm on his side here. I'll be watching you kids too. Be careful with how you treat Eve from now on. If you mistreat her, try to kick her out of the house, bother her, make fun of her, or whatever you've been doing up until now, you're gonna get kicked out of the house. Now, I saved you this time, but I won't be able to help you if Eve cries again. since the fight in the house. Dad almost kicked Eric, Ryan, and Karen out of the house. He was committed to doing it, but he decided to give them one last chance. Since then, they haven't been treating me badly like before or making fun of me, so I'm really relieved about that. But still, they still don't love me and they still don't think of me as their sister. They don't play with me and even when they do, they're forced to by mom. They're never happy to see me. They're just being forced to get used to me. I guess this is the best I can hope for. They're never gonna love me, are they? Hey Eve, mom said we should play Roblox with you. Are you coming or not? I'm a bit tired right now, so maybe later. 
Okay, thanks. What can I do to change their opinion of me? There must be something I can do that can make them notice me and love me and treat me like their sister. The reason they hate me is because my hair isn't the same as theirs, right? Well then, maybe... You have rainbow hair now. <laughs> you looked really pretty without it too, of course, but yes, the rainbow color suits you a lot. Really? Thank you so much. I wanted to have rainbow hair for so long now. I found the right colors and decided to dye my hair. That's great, but Eve, why did you dye your hair rainbow in the first place? Is there a special reason? Uh, no. <laughs> no, not at all. I just like the rainbow color, so I wanted to try it out. Eve, listen, I already told you, I'll love you no matter what. It doesn't matter what the color of your hair is, I'll still- Mom? 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 Where are Where the utensils? Are the I can't I find, find the utensils. utensils. All right, I'll be there in a second. Just wait for me. Okay, well, we'll talk about this later, Eve. You should come down for lunch. You don't want it getting cold, do you? All right, I'll be right there. <sighs> her hair rainbow colored now did she dye it to be rainbow hey guys how do i look i dyed my hair just now i think it looks great yeah it looks nice oh well thanks she wasn't really honest when she said it looks good and none of them look happy thought they would be happy to see my hair rainbow just like theirs so why did they still look annoyed that was the whole issue right my hair being a different color is the reason they hated me so much but now our hair is the same they shouldn't hate me right now i finally fit in with them all right i'm gonna go clean the dishes so i'll be right back Hey, so, do you actually like my hair? Yeah, I already told you, it looks nice. Okay, look, I want you guys to be completely honest. You guys can be rude if you want to, I won't complain to dad, but I want you to be honest. You still have a problem with me? You didn't like me when my hair wasn't rainbow, right? But now look, my hair is rainbow, so we shouldn't have a problem now, right? Why do you guys still look so unhappy to see me? You just don't get it, do you? Do you have any idea how popular and rich the Rainbow Family is? You think someone can just become a part of the Rainbow Family by dyeing their hair rainbow? If that were the case, then anyone would be able to join our family, and we'd have hundreds of siblings by now. That's not how it works. Your hair isn't naturally rainbow, and that's the truth. Dyeing your hair just makes you look fake and desperate. Rainbow hair only looks good on people that are actually a part of the Rainbow Family, which you're not. You just don't have rainbow hair, Eve. I don't know why you don't have rainbow hair, and I don't care. Guys, I think we really need to stop. You're going too far. She just wants us to love her. We shouldn't just hate her because her hair isn't the same color as ours. Seriously. No one asked you for your opinion, Eric. Just shut up and eat your lunch. If you don't agree with us, then just don't talk. I see. So no matter what I do, you guys are always going to hate me. There's nothing I can do to change that, right? You finally understand. Thank <laughs> God, see, it's that simple. Why did it take you so long to understand? We're finally on the same page now. That's right, Eve. We're always going to hate you no matter what. So if you're expecting us to love you or be happy to see you, forget it, because that's never going to happen. 
Ugh, the food's probably super cold by now. I forgot about it because of this conversation. All right, now let's eat and pretend this never happened. Mom and Dad won't know about this, right? Yeah, I promised I wouldn't tell them. You have my word. breakfast today and I don't want it going to waste. Eric, Ryan, Karen, Eve, breakfast is getting cold. Come downstairs already. How many times do you want me to call you? Always have to shout so much, Mom. I heard you the first time. I was on my way. Uh, I was still asleep. I said I would get up after five more minutes, but those five minutes turned into 15 minutes, and yeah, you can guess what happened next. Well, I didn't hear you call us until just now, but I came immediately after I heard you. And what about Eve? Where's she? Eve? I have no idea. She's probably still asleep. Okay, you're her brother, aren't you, Eric? Why don't you go up to her room and ask her politely to come downstairs and eat breakfast? Ugh, I hate this so much. I can't talk back to mom, dad, or even you. This sucks. If I do that, dad is going to kick me out of the house. I have no choice. I just need to go with the flow. Uh, all right, mom. I'll go and ask her to come for breakfast. Breakfast is ready. Mom's asking you to come downstairs. She's been calling for the past 30 minutes, so she's getting pretty annoyed that you're still not down. Are you still asleep? <laughs> Great, she's not replying. That means she's probably asleep. I'll have to go in and wake her up. Ugh. I hate this. Eve isn't here? Then where is she? Did she go to the bathroom? Wait, there's a letter here. On her bed, well, what does it say? Oh my gosh! Well, what do you think? Do you like the breakfast I made today? I wanted to try something new, so this took quite a while to make. It tastes great, as always, Mom. I agree with Karen. You should make this more often. I love it. Aw, okay kids, I'll make this tomorrow too if you really like it that much. There you are, Eric. Is Eve still not here? Is she sleeping? Mom, Eve isn't in her room right now. She's nowhere in the house, actually. I checked everywhere and- What? What are you saying? Is this some sort of joke? Serious, Mom. She left this letter on her bed. I, I, I think you should read it. Dear Mom, Dad, Eric, Ryan, and Karen, 
I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused you while living in this house. I didn't mean to upset any of you or make any of you angry. I'm really sorry about how Dad almost kicked you out of the house because of me. I didn't mean any of that to happen. I realized that no matter what I do, Eric, Ryan, and Karen will always hate me. Nothing is going to change that. So I've decided to leave this house. If I stay in the house any longer, then I'm just gonna keep causing more and more problems. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry for everything. What? She's not serious, right? There's no way she left the house she could have. She must be here somewhere. She doesn't have anywhere else to go. Where else could she go? What is she gonna do all by herself? Checked everywhere, Mom, but I, I, I couldn't find her anywhere. I, I double checked all the rooms. I, I think, I think she's actually gone. This is all because of you three! She left the house because you three would never accept her! She left because of you! You made her think that she didn't belong in this family! since I left the house. I haven't heard from my family even once since then. I don't know how they're doing, where they are, how they feel, but I really hope they're all doing well. I didn't want to leave the house, but I had no other choice. I was not wanted there. I was only gonna cause problems if I stayed there. I hope my brothers and sisters are happy now that I've left. Who am I kidding? They probably held a party the day I left. They don't want anything to do with me. All they wished for me was to leave the house. Hey, Eve. Are you coming or not? You zoned out again, didn't you? Huh? Oh yeah, right. I'm coming. Just wait for me at the canteen with everyone else. I'll be there in a few minutes. Alright. Sounds good. I don't have to worry about my hair color at all anymore. I can be myself without worrying about what others think of me. No one here knows that I'm part of the rainbow hair family. I'm at peace here, more peace than I've ever had before. I pretended to be an orphan so that I could get adopted at the adoption center. I've kept my identity a secret so far and it shouldn't be hard for me to continue that. from the canteen today. Just the usual, a hot dog and a milkshake. You? Um, don't you get sick of eating the same thing every day? Come on, change it up a little. We both can get the pizza and Pepsi meal instead. Nah, it's all right. You can get that yourself. I'm staying loyal to my hot dog and milkshake combo, Callum. Ugh, you're so annoying. Let her eat whatever she wants. <laughs> Jeez, Callum, not everyone has the same taste as you. I just wanted to twin with her for once by having the same meal as her. Then why don't you get the hot dog and milkshake combo? There's more to it than that. I just meant that she always eats the same thing every single time. So I want her to change it up and try something new. She doesn't want to though, so there's nothing you can do about it. Ugh, whatever. You do you, I guess. Callum gets annoyed so easily. It's funny, isn't it? <laughs> it's so cute. step in your career, Mr. Eric? Do you wish to continue as an actor in Roblox movies? Or do you want to try something new? I'm not sure, but whatever I plan on doing, I'm confident that I'll be able to accomplish it. A lot of people have criticized you and said that you were only able to become a successful actor because of your rainbow hair, which makes you stand out. How would you respond to that? Well, uh, the more successful you are, the more jealous people are going to be. 
I, I, I take great pride in my rainbow hair and being part of the rainbow family. I'm extremely grateful that I was born in this family. However, there is more to acting than just having good looks and being handsome. Acting requires a lot of skill, which I was only able to obtain through hard work and dedication in this challenging field. <laughs> well said, Mr. Eric. That's a very good answer. do anything to meet him, even if it's just for a few seconds. Aren't you in love with him too, Eve? Huh? Um, I guess. Is he really good looking? <laughs> um, what a lame question! We all have our own tastes, don't we? So, Eric was finally able to accomplish his dream of becoming a Roblox movie star. I'm glad he was able to do it. I'm really happy for him. I heard he might come to a film at Comic-Con in Brookhaven. If he does, we should all go there together. Um, no, you guys should go there yourselves. Huh? Why not? Don't you want to come with us too? No, I'm fine with not going. I'll probably be busy that day anyways. <laughs> they haven't even announced what date it's going to be at, and you've already decided that you're going to be busy that day? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I haven't decided. I'm just saying. I'll probably be busy that day, so I might not be able to go. Oh, well, we'll wait until they announce it and decide then. For now, let's just get our lunch and start eating, okay? Yes, I don't usually go this long without my hot dog and milkshake combo. Uh, why do they only have one flavor for milkshake? Vanilla! It's so annoying! I don't mind that at all. Vanilla's my favorite flavor after all. said I couldn't go, remember? You can buy tickets for everyone else, but I won't be able to go. Oh, he's so annoying, Eve! Just come with us! It's going to be a lot of fun! What are you going to do at home anyways? I have work to do. I, I won't be able to come. What work? What work are you talking about? Don't say homework. You know the teachers here aren't strict at all, right? You don't have to worry about them being mad at you for not completing your homework. I just can't come, alright? I'm sorry. You can all go. It's fine. You never come on any hangouts with us! I'm sick of it! If one of us isn't going, none of us are going. Forget it! Carol, wait! Eve, I know you better than the others. I know you don't have any work to do. Why are you lying to us? Do you really not want to come that badly? To the point where you would lie to us? There's just some things I can't tell you. It's best if I don't go. All right, you don't have to tell me, but how bad could going there possibly be? If you don't want a particular person to see you, or if you don't want to do any of the activities there, it's completely fine. You can at least come with us. The whole point is just to have fun together. That's why Carol wants us all to go. Okay, fine, I'll come with you. I don't want to see Carol sad. Yay! Okay! Remember, if you feel uncomfortable there, just let me know. It would be much easier if you just told us why you don't want to go there in the first place, but if you don't want to share that with us, it's completely fine. I'm just glad you're coming with us. Thanks a lot for agreeing to come. No worries, Callum.
good, Mom. I had a lot of fun with my friends. The classes were boring as they always are. <laughs> I can't imagine going to school if my friends weren't there. It'd be so boring without them. <laughs> I can understand that. I felt the same way when I was in school. If I didn't have any friends in school, I wouldn't be happy at all. I would have died from the boredom there. Oh, that reminds me. Mom, there's this film and Comic Con happening in Brookhaven very soon, and all my friends are going there. I was wondering if I could go too. Yes, of course you can go. It's a great chance to spend quality time with your friends, isn't it? Yes, it really is. Thanks a lot, Mom. No problem. Just let me know what day it's on and when you'll be back. I just got an email from Carol about all the information. I'll just forward it to you. Please see your tickets. You are not allowed to enter the con without them. Sure, here you go. All right, you're allowed to enter. You might have to show your tickets to the security inside. All right, perfect. Come on, guys, let's go in. We need to look for Eric as soon as we enter, all right? <laughs> That's the main reason we're here anyway. <laughs> awesome! Operation Find Eric starts now! Go, go, go! What is wrong with them? Why are they so obsessed with Eric? I mean, if I'm being completely honest, he is really good looking. I don't blame them. Are you gonna look for him too? Maybe, maybe not, but hey, if you're not comfortable with it, we won't go. You have my word. That's fine, you can go. I don't want to stop you from having fun. It's not going to be fun if we're not together. We came here as a group for a reason. We wouldn't go together if we planned on just separating, right? Come on, come with me. All right, let's go. Go! Okay, so if you don't want to see Eric for whatever reason, we can do something else. There's lots of rooms here, Eve. Do you want to check them? You told me you were really good at video games, right? that good, but I'll definitely beat you in every game we play. Oh, really? Is that a challenge? Maybe it is. <laughs> All right, then. Let's do this. Oh, my God, look, it's Eric. He's right there. He's walking with his bodyguard. Oh, God, it's actually him. I can't believe it. I'll take a closer look. Well, I know there will be a big crowd here today, but I'm still surprised. How am I going to have any room to breathe here? Don't worry, sir. We won't let anything or anyone touch or disturb you. We'll look for a separate room for you where these people can't reach you. Please, do that at the earliest. I don't want to deal with crazy fans. Well, it's actually him. I shouldn't be here. I can't let him see me. Whoa, wow! Now I know why girls are crazy. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. Callum, do you see that gaming room upstairs? Hmm, it looks so much fun. I wonder what it's like playing inside. Huh? What gaming room are you talking about? There's no video games on that side, Eve. What? Are you blind? It's right there. Don't you see it? Come on, I'll show you. Come with me, quickly. Wait, wait, wait. Eve, why are you in such a hurry? Hurry? No, no, I'm just really excited. That gaming room looks like so much fun. I can't wait to play inside. Eve, there's literally no video games there. Just come with me. I'll show it to you. Oh, 
long is this going to take? I'm really sorry, sir. They're just trying to book the room. We'll be there any minute now. Huh, that person looks familiar. Very familiar. Have I seen her somewhere before? Wait a minute. Is that Eve? Oh my god, it's Eve! Eve, 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 Eve over here! Over here. Huh? E Eric's calling you, Eve. Do you both know each other? Protect me and that girl over there. Take her and her friend to my private room you were talking about on call. Yes, sir. It will be done. Oh, my God! Eve, it's been so long. Where have you been? You just left the house and never spoke to us again. You never wanted me at the house anyway. Why do you care so much? Eve, I've realized my mistakes now. We all have, actually. After you left the house, I realized that what I did was wrong. Mom and Dad were really heartbroken when you left because they tried their best to make you stay. Mom was right, Eve. You are a part of this family no matter what. It doesn't matter what the color of your hair is. You'll always be a part of our family. Well, you should have thought of that earlier, Eric. The damage is already done. I am not going back to the house anymore. I got adopted into another family. I can finally live at peace now without annoying siblings telling me I don't belong in the family. Eve, you have no idea what mom and dad have been going through since you left. They have been working like crazy to find you with no results. Please, come back. Hold on a second. So, Eve, you're part of the Rainbow family. You're the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Rainbow? Um, I'm sorry I hid it from you. Oh my god, so the rumors were true. There was a girl in the Rainbow family without rainbow hair. I thought they were just made up rumors, but they were actually true? Why did you leave? Did you not hear a single word of what I just said? My siblings didn't accept me into the family because I didn't have rainbow hair. Before I left, I even tried to dye my hair a rainbow color. I thought that might fix the problem, but they were still rude to me and they didn't want to accept me. Breaking news, everyone. Roblox movie star, Eric, just arrived in the Brookhaven Film and Comic Con a few minutes ago. He was on his way to his allocated room when he noticed a young girl and started approaching her. Reports say her name is Eve. Eric looked really excited to see her, and people have been claiming that the rumors about a non-rainbow hair in the Rainbow family are true, and that the Rainbow family has been trying to hide it from the public. Could Eve be the non-rainbow haired daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Rainbow? You've got to be kidding me. I hate the media so much. Well, there is a bright side to this. Now that this is broadcasting live on TV, Mom and Dad are going to see and they'll know you're- What? How is that the bright side? I told you, I'm not coming back to the family no matter what. Eve, just give us a second chance. I promise we'll treat you really well. I have to leave right now. Goodbye, Eric. Eve, it's all my fault. 
I should have done more too. I'm really sorry. It's all our fault. Please forgive us. Come back home, Eve. I promise you I won't let you get treated like that ever again. We'll give you all the love in the world if you come back home. Mom, Dad, you don't need to apologize for anything. It's not your fault. I willingly left the house. <laughs> Please, Eve, we're ready to do anything to convince you to come back home. Just tell us what you want us to do and we'll do it. But please, please come back home. You don't need to do anything, Mom. I'm ready to come back. Really? Do you mean that, Eve? Of course I do. I missed you all a lot, too. 